According to latest leaks, upcoming RTX 3080 Ti is 40% faster than its predecessor, the RTX 2080 Ti, and upcoming 3070 is about neck and neck with current flagship RTX 2080 Ti. According to WCCF Tech, upcoming 3070 could get an MSRP of just $500 and so lots of performance per dollar. According to the latest information, Nvidia is planning for a Q4 release for the Ampere architecture, which means that both Nvidia and AMD AMD are launching their new GPUs around the same time frame. Today we're gonna look at the latest leaks and information around the RTX 3000 series and the Ampere architecture. I'm gonna look at release date, pricing, full specifications as well as potential performance figures. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware, my name is Robin, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. Now before we jump into these exciting leaks, I just wanna take the time and apologize for some of the recent leaks and specifications around RTX 3000 series being false and I want to stress the fact that I'm nothing more than just a simple dude with huge passion uh, for gaming and PC hardware and when I stumble across interesting leaks around upcoming hardware I literally start jumping up and down of excitement ready to share it with you guys and this is where things sometimes get wrong sometimes leaks turn out to be false and it physically hurts me knowing that I've been reporting you know incorrect information to you guys just understand I am doing my absolute best here to trying to be better and always strive to give you guys the most recent, most accurate information I can. But as always, when it comes to rumors, unless the information is official, we're gonna have to treat it for what it is. I'm constantly learning, trying to be better, and I will always provide you guys with the most recent, most accurate information available. I just wanted to say that. Thank you, and I hope you forgive me. And with that said, let's jump into today's video. So a series of rumors around Nvidia's upcoming and next generation GeForce lineup report based on the Ampere GPU architecture have appeared from various leakers on Twitter. It seems Nvidia is using TSMC's fresh 7nm node for the high performance computing and this includes the, uh, the server based Tesla GPUs while the GeForce graphics cards will be made on Samsung's new 10nm node and this leak is coming from a Twitter profile by the name of Kitty Korji who has been pretty active when it comes to information leaking lately and quite a few tech sites are reporting reporting on this leak and judging from you guys feedback and knowledge and from my gut feeling as well as others in the tech industry this information seem very legit I have to say but still nothing is official yet which is worth having in mind of course the most recent information comes from not just one but two different leakers from reddit who's currently reporting that Nvidia's next GPU architecture will be based on the Samsung 10 nanometer process node and not the TSMC's that I have been reporting about earlier. Jensen Wong, CEO of Nvidia. Everything just works. Put it outside and everything just works. Everything just works. Previously said that TSMC will be handling the majority of its 7 nanometer orders while Samsung would only get a small number of GPU orders. There seems to be a lot of talk around whether they're gonna use TSMC 7 nanometer node or the Samsung 10 nanometer process. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see uh, whatever decision Nvidia decides to make here. A recent rumor suggests upcoming GeForce GPUs are going to be fabricated at Samsung's 10 nanometer process. Nvidia is planning for you know, a total of 5 GPUs for gamers, and all of which are getting support for ray tracing. And Nvidia making the decision of enabling ray tracing for every graphics card in the upcoming RTX series. Even the lower tier GA107 gives us a decent indication that there must have been some significant architectural enhancement made in the RT design on the Ampere GPUs, allowing for more real time ray tracing performance on these new cards. And when it comes to performance, we should expect significant gains in both the Rasterization and shading performance, and in some cases up to twice the increase. Although that doesn't seem to be the case in rasterization, where the performance increase seems to be a bit lower compared to Turing. And a huge uplift in ray tracing performance is expected. And so, with upcoming graphics cards, we should expect to see more RT and Tensor cores. With that said, let's look at the GPU configurations. The flagship G4 GPU is rumored to be the GA102, and this will be the successor to the Turing based. TU-102 GPU that is sitting inside both Titan RTX and RTX 2080 Ti graphics cards. This 
GPU will feature a total of 5,376 CUDA cores and this is 16% more CUDA cores than a full flat TA102 GPU featured on the Titan RTX, which is a very expensive graphics card. Anyway, the GPU would be able to support up to 24GB of VRAM across a 384-bit bus interface. Now, it is still unclear whether Nvidia chooses to use the full configuration on the RTX GeForce 3080 Ti or whether they're going to follow the same pattern as they did with Turing. If that turns out to be the case, upcoming RTX 3080 Ti could be getting 5,120 CUDA cores, something to have in mind that CUDA cores is not the only uh, performance metric as clock speed will have a huge impact on the performance as well and we do believe that Nvidia will be able to clock the GPUs quite high due to a more energy efficient process node. Next up we got GA103, this will be upcoming GeForce RTX 3080 and will be the successor to GeForce RTX 2080. It will feature 3840 CUDA cores and this will be a big leap over RTX 2080's CUDA core count which was set at 3072. And again keep in mind CUDA cores isn't everything as clock speeds are going to be a very important factor here as well. Uh, due to this 320 bit bus interface means that Nvidia could use either 10 or 20 gigabytes of VRAM but considering the high costs that are associated with GDR6 memory and the high demand for the console market makes me believe that 2080 will be staying on 10 gigabytes but I would love to hear your thoughts here. Anyway the GeForce RTX 3080 is said to be 10% faster than current RTX 2080 Ti. Next up we got the GA104 GPU and this is going to sit inside the upcoming RTX 3070. This will be the successor to TU106 and it is suggested to feature the same CUDA core count as the RTX 2080 at 3072 CUDA cores and because of the bus interface allow Nvidia to use either 8 or even up to 16 gigabytes of VRAM but again we're probably gonna see 8 being used here to keep the pricing down. Now this GPU is said to deliver 95% of the performance of the RTX 2080 Ti which obviously could be even much greater when custom models and higher factory overclocked models makes it out on the market and again according to WCCF Tech this card could be selling for 500 US dollars which would make it pretty impressive. Lastly we got the GA106 and GA107 which would target mainstream and the budget segment and GA106 would feature 1920 CUDA cores and up to 6 GB of VRAM and GA107 features 1280 CUDA cores and will get up to 4 GB of video memory. According to an interesting article on Taipei Times, the Ampere GPUs is going to deliver seriously impressive figures in both performance and efficiency and the performance gain is expected to be 50% higher than existing Turing GPUs while offering twice the power efficiency. And so what this means is that a mid-tier, let's say an RTX 2060 for example, with a TDP of 130 watt for example, would be able to outperform the RTX 2080 Ti and this is obviously very impressive. Again guys, this is still rumors and nothing has been official yet, but it was suggested that Nvidia would do a reveal of Ampere at the GTC conference, but because of various reasons they decided to cancel this event and so we still aren't sure when Nvidia will unveil this graphics course lineup but many rumors suggest we are looking at a release in Q4. Again I would love to hear your thoughts here. Now in terms of pricing, Nvidia had a lot of backlash for Turing being too expensive. There's been rumors around this as well. Nvidia will drop the pricing for Ampere so but still no uh, official information on this either. Again I'm going to keep you guys informed as more information comes out. I watch you of these two videos for more content and I want to thank you so much for sticking around this long.